Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. In a previous video, y'all got really skeptical over this GRA HF750T antenna. It's a micro whip coil loaded vertical antenna. You were saying that won't work. SWR doesn't matter, and you're right, SWR doesn't matter. I'll agree with you on that one. And then the other half of y'all in the comments were saying, I've used antennas like that for 30 or 40 years, and they've worked fantastic, and I've worked countries all over the world. So today I'm going to make some contacts with it and put all of y'all to rest. I'm either going to agree with you 100% that this thing makes tons of comments. Comments? I'm either, on, I'm either going to agree with you 100% that this thing makes tons of contacts, or I'm going to agree with you 100% that this thing is absolutely a dummy load and any resistor can present 50 ohms to the radio. Let's see where we go today. I'm going to run the same station. I've got the 6100. I've got the mini microphone. I've got the Denco battery this time. Sorry, it's not the other one. I've got the antenna sitting right there on the tripod with its ever so short whip. That's all you get. And then I've got my ABR coax and my ground radials and all that other jazz that I always have. And I'm sitting in the near field and I got this big old tree right next to me too. We're gonna make it happen anyway. I'm gonna do some POTA hunting here. 14310 is LA1UTX. That was two minutes ago. Nope, sorry. That was three minutes ago. I can hear some signal there, but I can't hear the one I'm looking at. 14262 instead. Not hearing that one. 14343. Oh, I guess before I get started, I should show you the band sweep. Oh, I hear somebody in there. Kilo Mike 9 Golf KM9G. Kilo Mike 9 Golf KM9G. I heard you come back. This is Kilo Mike 9 Golf. I got you 5 9 into Colorado. Forty-three, forty-three. All right, I copy the four by three, forty-three. Thank you very much for the contact. Seventy-three. All right, seventy-three. Thanks so much, Steve. And okay, that was accidental. I wasn't really even trying. I was trying to show you the SWR sweep. Let's get back to that. Where's it's my reflection? Stop with the reflection. There we go. We're pretty low on that. Doing pretty good on the old SWRs there. But we just made a contact, so you know I'm happy with that. We got one in the log so far. Let's try the next one. I mean, 4.3 is not the best, but it's a contact, isn't it? Oh, where was the one I just made the contact with? Let me see if he's still in here. Yeah, that was Minnesota. Minnesota from Colorado. I'm looking at the POTA spots page on my app, and right as I was trying to zoom in. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. Got it, first try. Copy the 5.4 North Texas. I'll give you 5.4 in return from Colorado. Thank you for the contact. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. Uh, go. All right, he heard me that time. Kilo Mike 9 Golf. You are 5 9 Colorado. Copy the 5 7. Thank you for the contact. 73. So he's got me in two parks on his side. So it's technically two contacts according to the POTA rules. But we'll just we'll just play it the way it is. That's three contacts on my side. Kilo Mike Nine Golf. That's me, Kilo Mike Nine Golf. Kilo Mike Nine Golf. Kilo Mexico Nine Germany. Kilo Mike Nine Golf. Four two. Roger, roger, copy the 4-2. I'll give you 5-9 Colorado. 5-9 Colorado, Charlie Oscar. I need his park number. I mean, I don't really. He's going to log his park number. He'll take care of my logging, but I still want it. Mississippi, that's what I thought. So he is in Mississippi. He must be visiting because uh, he says Montana in his call sign, US 0388. So that's Colorado to Mississippi. And he's Mississippi Sandhill Crane National Wildlife Refuge. All right, who's next? That's four contacts, 302. Somebody's just north of the Maritime Mobile Net. Move the camera into the shade, have a little bit of mechanical empathy for the camera there. All right, now we're gonna bring the real controversy. And I already know the answer to this question, but you guys can argue with me anyway. When you visit a state park with an RV and you rent a campsite in the state park with your RV and you stay there, you can activate that state park as if you are in the park because you actually are. I am in a RV park. I'm in a rented spot. I'm in the unpronounceable National Forest, US 4409, the Uncompagra National Forest. 
I have it on extremely good authority that it is perfectly legal to do a parks on the air activation here. So I'm gonna find myself a clear frequency and I'm gonna get my last five contacts to get this park activated. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo Mike 9 Golf. I mean, it's, it's QRP and it's on an antenna that doesn't work in the first place. So nobody can hear me anyway, despite the last four contacts that I've made. I got a Kilo Quebec 4 station in there. Come back. Kilo Quebec 4 station, are you still there? All right, was that Kilo November 4 instead, KN4? I got Kilo November 4 Victor Kilowatt. I, I think I'm missing something. All right, I got you that time. Kilo November 4 Zanzibar Victoria Juliet. I'll give you a 3 3 on my side. 3 3. Copy the 5-2 Golf Alpha. Thank you for the contact, 73. That was his, that was his side. I could, he could hear me better than I could hear him, which I was kind of shocked about. Well, as much fun as that was making contacts outside in the heat with the shade moving farther and farther away from me, I decided I was gonna come inside and do some FT8 stuff. So right now we have been making a ton of contacts while I was making these contacts behind me, I was editing the first half of the video where the voice contacts were. So that's pretty cool. But let's take a look at the station that we got going on here. I made a contact. Let's see, hit okay on that and hit enable. Look at all that red, 87J. KO4 DXQ. That waterfall looks pretty good. All right, let's see how many contacts I made. So we're gonna grep all lines that begin with less than call in the file wsjtx underscore log.adi and we're gonna pipe that to word count and we're looking for just lines. And yeah, I messed it up before. 13, 13 contacts so far. But remember folks, short whip, short coil loaded verticals, they don't work at all. All right, we're back out of the picnic table for the wrap up because it was pretty noisy in there with all that FT8 and going on in the background. 13 contacts I showed you in the log on the screen. That was, I just set the machine up today. I just put WSJTX on it today and that was all the contacts that I made. And then after that, while I was still talking to you, another contact came through. So technically 14 contacts plus the voice contacts in the beginning. This is what the map looks like of the people who have heard me on WSJTX and have reported it up to PSK Reporter. So I'm in Colorado. I'm getting over the Rockies to the West Coast to the, the Californias. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to make another another hop, another skip over to the Hawaii area, and there's not a whole lot of people in the Pacific Ocean that can hear me. And then I'm getting over to the eastern shore of the US. I think that's pretty good coverage. I think that this is a very, very highly packable antenna. You could get this and a QCX, uh, QDX, QCX Mini, QDX Radio, QMX Radio into a little tiny go bag and probably shove it in your cargo pants pockets. People saying this antenna won't work. Some people's kids, man. Is it the best antenna on the planet? No. Is any antenna the best antenna on the planet? No. Actually, they're not. Are all antennas compromises? Yes. Your 80 foot tower with a 20 meter rotatable beam on it, three over three stacked Yagi's, you're deaf on the backside of the antenna. That's a compromise. It's one you're willing to live with. I can't put that stacked Yagi system in my pocket. That's a compromise that I'm willing to live with and take a small antenna like this. Different strokes for different folks, people. It works. That's what's important. I keep proving that the physics is the physics and y'all keep arguing with me that physics ain't the thing and that's just a, a dummy load packaged up to look like an antenna. I saw these all over the ham fest. I picked one up. It was, a, it was a single band with the coil. I guess they lost the rest of the coils. And somebody came up to me and said, oh, I had one of those. I made so many contacts on that thing. It was great. And that's right, it's about having fun. There are links in the description down below for more information on this antenna. I got my previous video right over here for you. And when I get the next one done on two meters, it's gonna be down here. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed for that and we'll keep on keeping on.